Howdy folks, Das here. Today, we're showing my gypsy dance in D. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, we have gypsy dance in C. It's a bit smaller, and people have been asking me, you got one that's any deeper? Well, the answer is, oh yeah. So here, this is in D. Now, you'll see the in G, the six holes are on top, and they're staggered so that you could reach them with ease. Now, to make that bigger in D, if all six holes were on top, you couldn't reach them. So I've invented this system of having two thumb holes. And that way, the hands are really relaxed for playing a nice, large, deep-sounding flute. And the scale is like this. Then it repeats when you blow harder. <laughs> I just love these things. So anyway, I call it gypsy dance, but in Indian Raga technology, it's Rag Bhairav. And I'm sure, and I've heard it in, I've heard Shakuhachi players play this, and I've heard various um, Eastern European trips going on. Now, if you watch my other videos, I have two videos on gypsy dance in G. The one is, is a two minute something introducing it. And I have a second video, gypsy dance in G in depth. That's about nine minutes and 49 seconds. Who's got the patience to watch a movie that long? If you stick with that, you will learn a lot of tricks that you could apply to this model also. So I'm trying to keep this video brief, but I'll just show you really briefly a couple of those tricks. When you play the regular notes, you get the regular scale. Now, because of the two thumb holes, how do you hold it when your hands are all off? The trick is you have a grip. There's a three point grip between your lip here. This is pushing. And this hand is pushing like that, whether the hands are on the notes or off, you're still pushing against the lip. Right hand, you're pushing this way, whether the fingers are on or off. So watch this, fingers on, everybody's off. See, you're holding it. So I've had people ask me, I've been having trouble holding it. Well, I've just solved the problem for you. So you better thank me for that. Anyway. Here's some of the other tricks. I explained in the G video, the pentatonic fingering. So you can make this sound even more trippy, if you can imagine that. So the pentatonic fingering on this would be these two fingers always go on and off at the same time. Leave the left thumb there. Don't pull it off. That gives you a pentatonic inversion kind of a shakuhachi zen eastern buddhist meditation hindu kind of a something i don't know but this is what it sounds like pentatonic fingering remember stick together leave it leave it could stay in that place for a long time. Anywho, you can adopt this, and I've got, this is kind of a speckly one here. I have different specimens. Some will be dark, like the G1 I see here. I've got some various things going on here. Got some tiger stripes going on. And for the holidays, we've got the candy cane edition. Isn't that sweet? No, nah. I hardly ever make these because it's a real pain to burn that burn that spiral. So don't ask for these. Ask if I have one. If I don't have one, one of these others should be okay. All right. So let me know. You can adopt them. DOS over and out. And remember, keep on tooting.